contingency theories of leadership the last video was about behavioral theories and trait theories now contingency theories what is contingency contingency is a future event that is possible but cannot be predicted properly the word contingency is mostly used with contingency plan contingency plan means backup plan backup plan for that future event that cannot be predicted properly now the contingency theories of leadership in the trait and behavioral theories we learned about the behaviors and traits of the leaders now in contingency theory we have to take in account the environment and the situation in the behavior is working in the first contingency theory is Fiedler's model this model was founded by Fred Fiedler in the mid 1960s he says that leadership style is fixed and he also talks about the situation matching with the leadership style he came up with this with a questionnaire named least preferred co-workers the credibility of this questionnaire is actually a little bit questionable so as i said before the situation has to match with leadership style there are three situational factors first of all leader member relations that is the degree of confidence and trust in the leader then task structure that's the degree of structure in jobs and then position power that is the leader's ability to hire fire and reward the employees so according to this model the situation and leadership styles are fixed either you have to change the leader to match the situation or change the situational variable to match the leader's leadership style since the lpc method was actually a little bit questionable the fiddler's model have been refined a little bit in this refined model they talk about stress stress is the enemy of rationality and creator of unfavorable conditions there can be two things inside a leader that are intelligence and experience if stress level is low then intellect comes into handy and if the stress level is high then experience comes into handy then we have situational leadership theory this theory was proposed by paul hersey according to this theory the effectiveness of a leader depends on the response of the followers there are two things to take into account that is the ability of the follower and the willingness of the follower if the followers are unable and unwilling then they cannot do the job and they don't even want to do the job in that case the leader has to give clear and specific direction and also be a little strict sometimes if the followers are unable and willing so if they cannot do it they want to do it then the leaders have to have high task orientation that means teach them how to do it they want to do it it, but they cannot do it so teach them then they are able but they are unwilling they can do the job but they don't want to do the job in that case the leaders have to be supportive and participatory they need to support those employees they need to find out why they don't want to do the job and they also need to participate in the process of the work and lastly the employees are able and willing they can do it and they want to do it in that case the leaders don't have to do anything then we have path goal theory this theory is from robert house he is from ohio state university you would understand why i mentioned ohio state university if you saw my last video this theory was proposed in 1971 but there were some flaws and it was refined in 1996 so this theory says that the leaders need to provide their employees with information support and resources to help them achieve their goals basically show them the path to their goals so robert house says there can be multiple styles of leadership four to be specific they are directive they focus on the work to be done then supportive they focus on the worker then participative they talk to the employees while making the decision then lastly achievement oriented they set challenging goals for the employees then leadership participation model this was from victor vroom and philip yetton this theory says that how a leader makes a decision is as important as what is the decision so situational variables clash with the behaviors of the leaders this study says that the leaders must adjust their behaviors according to the situation so according to vroom and yetton there are five leadership styles and 12 contingency variables so that was the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you learned something new today and if you did not then i would like to say that the full form of html is hypertext markup language 
and now i really hope you learned something new today